Hello friends, welcome once again to Nishan Karam Art. Today we'll be looking at priming a canvas. Uh, the last, prior to this, the last couple uh, videos I've put up was actually uh, stretching or making this frame using the stretcher bars. And then that was followed up by the actual stretching of the canvas. And I showed, I tried to show you all how to stretch the canvas properly making sure that all the edges are fastened and, and having a nice smooth firm surface so now uh, following that process we are going to prime the canvas now priming the canvas is actually really important um, one of the main reasons for priming a canvas is not just to create a white surface but actually to fill the pores in the canvas you create a surface whereby the paint or the material, the media you're using, the medium you're using, it can hold on to the canvas really tightly and so that it becomes part of the canvas. Now, some people you use, you can get gesso. Uh, gesso is white emulsion paint, it's a water based paint and it does have um, a compound in it. And when you apply it, it's like a filler and it actually fills the pores in the canvas once it's dry and it's applied properly then you have a surface that's ready uh, to paint um, i'm using a really cheap household paint it's an emulsion paint which is water based um, and it is it does the same thing it does have a compound in it uh, what some people also do is they use pva and you can mix it you can make your own mixture uh, and prime as well we call it priming if, if you're preparing for I mean, oil painting, depending again on the, the grain of your canvas and the weight of your canvas, some people use rabbit skin glue, uh, which again requires a bit more work. Some people, what they like to do, depending on their style, they prepare their canvas and they sand it, they reprime re it and repaint it again to ensure that uh, the, all the pores are filled and that there are no gaps or holes left. Uh, unfilled or unprimed. So another thing is on a bright day today, it's quite a, it's quite a nice day today. I have some really bright day on your outside. Uh, if you look, you paint and you look through the canvas, you'll see that there are some holes that actually show up and you can see the gaps in between. Uh, so that's a good way of actually telling if you've actually covered uh, your canvas really well and you've not left out any spots or anything like that so what we're doing today as i said we are going to just be using a simple uh, household paint you could get from your normal shop or, or hardware store and i'm going to be just using two simple brushes i'm going to use one for coverage just really quickly and a smaller one to make sure i could work in into the pores properly now there's also a technique in terms of applying the, the paint as well uh, the, the primer so what you normally do is you put one coat following the same direction, whether it's left or right, horizontal or vertical, and then you apply another coat the opposite direction. Again, that what that does is it creates a nice interwoven uh, sort of like successive layers where it sort of binds and, it, and you ensure that you have good coverage. So when your canvas is dried and you've applied it like that, you know when you paint that that canvas is ready and it will last for a very long time. So. I've already mixed the paint and I'm going to just turn on this and I'm just going to start a big brush starting from the front and start to and I really want to not use it too thick because what happens is if you use it too thick and it gets really clumpy and there's an area where it remains thick what happens is that you get a layer where it, be, it when it's once dried it cracks and again that could be a really worse night it could be it could be a horrible thing for an artist when you're painting and then you have cracks in your paint so, i mean people who have uh buyers as well obviously if they see cracks in their paint they think well okay then paint is the, the painting is going to disintegrate it affects the quality of the painting the way it looks i mean unless you're using really heavy textures that's bonded with the special res resins and so on uh, then that's a different case. But for today's uh, purpose, we don't want to use it too thick. We're just going to use some thin layers. I'm using from the left to right. So I'm working from left, coming across the right, and trying to just work it in nice and, and, and thin, and make sure I have an even coat. And then I'll do the opposite. 
very long. So uh, I'm literally pressing in this paint with this brush as this is the first coat so I'm going to make sure I really press it in and uh, that's why I'm using this sort of heavy thick brush to sort of really press it in fill the pores. Uh, once I'm finished covering this then I'm going to use this smaller brush to sort of like do the opposite direction which should make it a bit easier to apply the paint. So. So I have covered the surface and I started this way working left to right and this, this surface is pretty much uh, almost right so I'm going to work the opposite direction now so here we go and I'm using the smaller brush as well And there you have it. Now, even though uh, it's complete, some people even decide to put a triple or even four coats. I mean, you could do that. It will make it a bit stronger. It's not really necessary for my purposes, but make sure you follow the basics. You apply a thin layer and you press it in well with a sort of thicker, heavier brush. Once you get the first coat in the same direction, left to right, then you can use a smaller brush in the opposite direction uh, and then the application is a bit easier and this is going to take about 24 hours to dry and you can see it's all covered and when it's dried then you have a surface that's ready if it's your choice if you wish to sand it and then reprime uh, 
that's personal taste so there you have it folks uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to, to receive more videos like this and also leave your comments uh, below uh, thank you so much and look forward for you joining me next time